this is going to be a general collective reading. So this reading will be for all of the zodiac signs. You guys know to take messages only as they resonate with you and your situation. Leave any messages that do not. All right, if you guys are new to the channel and this is your first time stopping by, welcome in, okay? Do like, share, comment, subscribe. All of my returning subscribers, I'm sending you guys all the love and light. All right, let's see what we have coming in, guys. I'm gonna start off with a um, card from our Moonology Oracle because we do have a new moon coming in on the 21st, okay? And it's gonna be in the sign of Cancer, so phew gonna be a watery one okay <laughs> you guys may feel a little more emotional um you can always feel the moon a few days before so let's see what we have coming in oh wow <laughs> look at this as i speak of emotions okay this is um emotions are running high is the card that came out for you guys so yeah expect to um feel your emotions being pulled on a little okay you guys are definitely going to feel this moon energy, um, depending on where your placement is with your moon sign, it will affect you guys all differently. But if you have cancer um, in any of your placements, like your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, or your Venus, you're definitely going to feel it. Cancer is all about home, you know, family, nurturing. So it is important for you guys to nurture yourselves at this time. And just keep in mind, again, emotions are going to be running high. So, yeah, you guys have some situation where emotions are definitely you know, on edge. Um, new moon in Capricorn in the bottom of the deck. It says your hard work is paying off. Okay, so maybe you guys are on edge about something, but you are being reminded that your hard work is paying off, okay? Ooh, these wanted to pop out. <laughs> I see the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. All right, so some of you guys have been working really hard, you know, coming together, you know, um, working as a team or just maybe being open to friendships and friends. Keeping yourself ooh, in a merry energy. Wow. And as I say that, y'all, I want y'all to see what's on the bottom. We have the five of wands and then we have the chariot, which is cancer energy. So some of you guys are having a hard time maybe moving forward with something. Maybe you're just feeling, you know, emotional and you're trying to keep your emotions together. But let's see what comes out. So you can message this for the collective. Okay. So we have the four of wands, home life, your stability. Okay, this is, you know, serious committed relationships, partnerships, whatever it is you've been committed to, whatever is um, stable in your lives. For some of you guys, this is soulmate energy, 1111, and then the two of swords. Okay, so some of you guys are in a space where I feel like within your relationships or your serious committed partnerships, with this two of swords energy, some of you guys are really, really trying to maintain like your peace, your balance. Um, for others of you, I feel like maybe you're not speaking. You're kind of like blocked off to, you know, anything serious at this time. Let's see what else is here. Okay, so we got the seven of pentacles and then the three of wands and the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck. So I was seeing this energy. Some of you guys have been really staying up late at night. Like, I feel like you are just in a space. Maybe this is your person's energy, but you guys have definitely been staying up, you know, late at night. King of cups is here. So there are definitely some emotions or some feelings that you guys have that you're not expressing. And it's like, whatever this is, some of you guys are waiting maybe to hear from someone. For others of you, it's just like you're just in a space where you're waiting. Okay, the three of wands is here with the four of wands. So some of you guys are feeling, you know, defensive. Maybe you're, you're standing your ground. Y'all look nine of swords on the bottom of two different decks. So somebody is definitely in their head, whether this is you or your person. I feel like someone wants to communicate to you guys, but, you know, they could feel like you're blocked out. Maybe you feel like they're blocked out. Some of you guys have been like, making future plans to see this person or to talk to this person, but someone is definitely worried. Let's see what this is about. All right, so we got the Ace of Cups here. So, so for some of you guys, this could be a new relationship, a new partnership. And it's like you guys are in a space where maybe you're wanting this to go into something solid, something stable, something really, really serious. And, you know, you could be waiting on this person. Maybe this person is waiting on you. Someone is, you know, feeling kind of 
emotionally blocked or just not seeing something. Okay, for some of you guys, maybe you feel like you're not seeing progress. You're not seeing something move to the next level. And with this three of wands here, I feel like you guys are waiting. You know, you're trying to see, like you're making plans for your future. You don't really know um, what's going to happen in the future. They got the two of wands. I'm sorry, the two of swords that came out over this. So, yeah, some of you guys are blocked out. I feel like you guys are, um, when it comes to communicating with your person, your significant other, for some of you guys, maybe this is your job. There's something that you guys did not see coming in or something that you were just kind of closed off to. All right, let's see. Two of Pentacles is in reverse and then the nine of um, swords here. So, yeah, with this two of Pentacles being in reverse, some of you guys are feeling hard trying to maintain your balance when it comes to like work, your committed relationship, your partnership. It's like you just feel like it's just too much. And for some of you guys, you're you're not in a space where you're trying to juggle things anymore. Ooh, four of wands again. So some of you guys have manifested with this magician here something new. Okay, this is something solid. This is something stable. With this two of swords here, and for some of you guys, you don't see it yet because you guys have this, your hard work is paying off. On the bottom of the deck wow and then expect powerful change behind that so some of you guys i feel like you know maybe you've been working hard at something you could have left a situation or you just could have decided that you're not going to try to balance something or bring balance to a situation and you moved on to something else that's more stable more balanced that's going to bring you this security and for some of you guys you don't see it like you manifested something or you've been working hard at something and it's about to pay off all right let's see why the two of swords is here yeah, the moon and then the seven of wands. So, yeah, you guys are definitely in a space where you feel like you don't see how something is going to turn out. Or maybe you don't know. This could be having little to no information. But you guys are still um, working hard. And the hair font is here, Taurus energy. So, this is going to bring in some stability. For some of you guys, this is in regards to your relationship. Maybe you've been putting in the work and you're just like, you just don't know if this is going to be stable. Okay, the nine of wands is here. So yeah, you guys are continuing on your journey. And with this um, six of wands being here, I feel like between you and your person, someone is in a space where they could want, you know, a little bit more of your attention, a little bit more of your time, a little bit more of you being really attentive to them. Okay, and with this nine of wands, this is telling me that some of you guys are kind of guarded. Page of cups here. Yeah, especially when it comes to um, expressing your emotions. And really getting involved with your emotions. Look, Two of Cups is here. You guys are like, you don't really know where you stand or you don't really know, um, you know, this is going to be something solid, stable. And it's like you're kind of guarded in regards to getting emotionally involved. The Seven of Pentacles is here. So you guys are in a space where you're waiting. You're like, you know what? I'm going to see, you know, how this turns out before I really invest myself. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles here and then the Sun. For some of you guys, maybe this is in regards to work and you're waiting on communication to come in about work and you're kind of, you know, feeling a little emotional because you don't know where things stand. You've been working really hard at, you know, looking into other jobs, looking into other opportunities and something is going to come in for you guys. For some of you guys, you're going to get some communication within the next three days or even the next um, three weeks. We have the Seven of Swords here and then the Empress. So, yeah, it's like you guys are going to um, be walking into abundance. Okay, the Empress is here. This is prosperity, abundance. Um, this is someone who knows their work as well. So, for some of you guys, it's like you're needing to really take care of yourself during this time, especially with the moon being in Cancer. Because if you've been neglecting yourself in any way, this is going to add on like extra stress um, to you. Let's see, why is the Empress here? Ooh, the star. Okay, so for some of you guys, this um, you may be dealing with an Aquarius, maybe Libra or Taurus, so you can have that in your chart. But this is telling me that whatever you guys have been working towards and whatever it is you're waiting for, you're going to get like some good feedback. It's going to grow. It's going to be something that's stable. With the star here, you have a wish coming true, nine of pentacles. Okay, so you guys are going to have stability. This is an independent energy of being stable, you know, someone who's focused on the future. Someone, six of wands in reverse, yeah. For some of you guys, it's a situation with the six of wands in reverse that you're going to be leaving or you've already left this situation and you just don't know. Like um, some of you guys are thinking about returning to something with this seven of um, cups being here. But with this king of pentacles, it's like you guys are going to have stability in whatever it is you've already been working towards. OK, the ace of pentacles and ten of cups and then justice here. So you guys are going to have things balanced out. For some of you guys, you have a new um, offer coming in that is going to make you really, really happy. That's going to bring in a lot of long-term 
stability with this um, justice. Okay, you guys just need to wait and practice a little bit of patience. The world is here. You are going into new cycles. You guys are going to get some opportunities. For some of you guys, you're waiting to hear something. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Swords. You're going to get some communication and some truth. And you're being told, like, do not go back to a situation. The Eight of Swords is here. See, you guys just need to wait. Some of you guys are trapped in your head. You're kind of worried about it. You don't feel like you're going anywhere or that things are getting anywhere. But you're being told to just kind of wait. Okay, let's see. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, see, Ace of Swords, you guys are going to get some truth, some clarity, and then the Seven of Pentacles is here. So for a lot of you guys, maybe you've been waiting, and it's like, you know what, you don't see things turning out in your favor right now with this moon being here. You feel like it's a lack of clarity. So you're wanting to go back to some old situation, but it's like with this Eight of Swords being here, if you guys do return to an old situation, I feel like in the future, it's going to be something where you get stuck, you're going to be feeling stagnant. It's not going to really move forward. It's going to be something that um, just keeps you in the, in the same position. Okay, so it's like if you just give it a little bit more time, you guys have something, some news coming in in the future that is going to be good. Look at this, Eight, eight of um, Cups here. So, yeah, whatever you guys walked away from, you were supposed to walk away because it was something that was holding you back. Let's see why the Eight of Cups came out. Yeah, temperance. Okay, it's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that you guys don't know. All right, this is Sagittarius energy that speaks of um, divine timing, patience, balance. Okay, moderation, king of cups on the bottom of the deck, and then the two of wands. Yeah, so you guys are going to have an opportunity that comes in into you guys within, um, like I said, the next few days. For some of you guys, maybe within the next few weeks. Your hard work is paying off. All right, you guys just need to be patient because you're going to have this um, opportunity come into you. For some of you guys, this could be a new relationship. For some of you guys, this is going to be a new job. Whatever it is, it's going to be something that's not only going to be good for you it's going to be good for you know those around you it's going to work like for some of you guys you want to get a job with the schedule that you want for some of you guys maybe it's finances you know that you're worried about you're going to get a financial opportunity that's going to help you be able to provide and take care of your family all right let's see um what your spirit message is i've been getting a lot of weird dreams y'all so i'm gonna use our dream oracle because i feel like you guys are getting a lot of dreams as well maybe you're going to be having dreams some of you guys are not remembering your dreams Ooh, the internet. Okay, this says embrace the fact that you are the world. Okay, so this talks about integration, things coming together. Um, this is saying for what I'm getting from you guys, you're going to be getting some communication that's going to come in. Okay, and it's like some of you guys, you're going to get some opportunities maybe through a friend or it's just going to be something where you're going to be like, wow, it's a small world. Like I had no idea that my connection to this would lead me to this or, you know, something of that nature. But this says that you are intertwined with everything and everyone, realizing that it's a small world after all. All of humanity is within you and you have access to all of it. From the foreign to the most familiar, from blasts from the past to those with whom you aspire to have a future connection. Everything you need or desire is just a thought, keystroke, tweet, or Facebook post away. At the root of any pain you experience is the false belief that you are separate from your fellow humans. However, when you um, remember your oneness with the worldwide web of life. You awaken the reality that you exist in a unified field and that all of life is ultimately on your side. All right. So this is allow this awareness to assist you in casting your net to reel in a wonderful relationships, job opportunities, financial abundance and solutions. Okay. So yeah, I definitely feel like this is more career related. For some of you guys, this is in regards to a relationship, but this is telling you guys with this internet, it's like, um, take some time to connect. Okay. Utilize your resources. Um, maybe even just posting about whatever it is you guys need can help bring it into you. A lot of you guys, you're going to get some truth, some clarity. Like I said, you just wait and it's some things that's going to come into you. Okay. All right, so um, expect powerful change is what I'm getting, okay? Do not, I know right now, like, you guys may be feeling emotional with this King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You're definitely not showing it, but on the inside with this hermit behind that, you guys are like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? You know, what am I supposed to do right now? You guys are kind of um, all over the place. Maybe this could be your person's energy, but you guys do have some change that's coming in, okay? So this is the message that I have for the collective today. You guys, um, do like, share, comment, subscribe, and until next time, send you guys love and light.